Yo, what up? Uh, word. <laughs> How's about we play some more copper? More, uh, more Underdark Overbright, pardon me. It's copper, but it's not just copper, it's also this. So, we're gonna load our game. How deep is your lava? I believe this is another Lunarin map. Um... It's just Lunar and Scampy worked on these levels, and the last one was Scampy, I think, this one, if I remember my readme correctly. So, I had 50 health. This is an episode, don't forget. I am carrying over from my previous save games. What did I have? I had a little bit of that. Okay. Uh, this does not bode well. What was it as far as enemies? Okay, so very few enemies, and only one secret, so I think this must be... Um... A boss level. Yeah, that doesn't... <laughs> that doesn't suggest good things. I wonder where the secret is. Is it up there? I bet it's up there. Let's give this a shot. Okay, no. Well, that was our... that was my fault, so let's just... let's just take that and accept it. Do I have to climb up these? But I don't know where I would go with that. Alright. Let's give it a shot. Oh my god. Those obelisk type things. I love I love those. I love that shape. Those like tapered at the top, but then the base comes out a little bit and then goes back in. Like you see that in Egyptian style maps. <laughs> and I like it here too. I never get enough obelisks. I don't know if there's a proper name for that shape. Alright, so then uh boom. Oh. <laughs> okay, so I do want that guy. I just wasted that. So let's take a look at what we've got in teleporters. <laughs> oh, that was a well-placed set of, of dipshits. Always good to have a nice set of enemies that catch an explosive. That or like in uh, Half-Life 2 when you have Combine Grunts or Metro Cops up on a ledge or something and you can like fire an alt-fire grenade that they catch for you and they blow off the ledge in a big ragdoll pile. That's always good. And then Grunts here explode in such a satisfying way. Okay, so this does take you up top after you. That's Okay, so we have to put it down before we fire. I saw that, the little ghostly, the little ghostly thing. Okay, so then I got those down now. Hope they don't reset before I can aim. There we go. Oh. Oh, an auto save right after. Okay, that's cool. I heard something. I heard something teleport in. What was that? Haha, <laughs> I found the secret. Now, hurry up. So I can go use this thing. Aha. Well, I don't want to use this for him, but I don't have a choice. I have no other. But I have my, uh. I have my nice weapon. Uh, pentagram, pardon me. So we got that. I'll hop around. I don't know how much you can do, if any fuck, if anything, as far as uh, customizing a Chthon fight with, uh, without... Okay, now let me see if I hit space. No, uh, space doesn't actually load the autosaves, I gather. Did I not... Auto. Yeah, see, it does... There is an autosave, but it doesn't... There's no predefined key. I believe... I heard from Lunar about that. There's a there's a reason you can't have that kind of thing. Just because it, uh, if you can't modify the engine, you can't bind a key to it without applying a, a shipping a config that then messes up people's favorite stuff, and, or you have to do it every time the game loads, and then that still has the effect of of um, forcing it on people, you know, which is not what you'd want to do, so I can appreciate. And we just have a little uh, console thing, or we bind it ourselves the way we prefer, which is perfectly workable. 
I have turned off my crosshair for uh, video purposes, I think. I don't really remember why I originally did that, but I did. And I haven't found it too... too difficult. I mean, difficult enough, obviously, but... It is satisfying when you can actually do it without a little cross in the middle of the screen. Oh, damn, that one went wide. Holy shit. Okay. Eight enemies. I guess one of them is our friend. Here we go. One. Two. Three. <laughs> oh, that didn't count. Come on. Oh, that I keep falling off. See, <laughs> I guess it does become an issue, but it's a fun challenge. Yay! Yay! Alright, so then who... Oh, that's not good. Who's left, enemy-wise? Did I not, uh... Take all the teleporters? That's what I did. Okay, oh. And we head on down... Back to the start. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay, it was, yeah, the, the nice uh, jib shower, jib fountain convention of after you kill Chathan. Yay! I did it. Uh, I thought there was one more level after this. Or shit, was that the secret level? I looked at the list and I was... God damn it. Well, there's end, I think. Let's see where this takes us. No, this is start. Okay, well, I guess I finished, um... I finished under Dark Overbright, and I didn't even really expect to. <laughs> I guess we can... You know what? I want to try and find some stuff here, because I didn't get all the kills. Or the secrets. I don't know if I can find all the secrets, but let's give it a shot. The fitting way to end the video. End, this, end the series, pardon me. Since it did take me back. Don't want to go in there. We want to check out this. There's one. Okay. Head on down to this. Reimagined with no... No slime. Hmm. Yep. Now... I can get this one. And I can hop on this guy. Head up. We got two out of four secrets. And what's the thing? There's one... What is it? There's a quad run that you activate at some point and you, you really get to go crazy killing uh, zombies. And there we go. Through, we have our... Right. Right, that's how I got... To... Okay, there we go. Got through there. We go out along the little river thing. Oh, that's nice. Sound effect. I don't know how many I've found in the first video. It's been a couple of weeks, I don't, uh... This'll give you... Your, oh, there's even more. Hmm. Okay, nothing there. What's in this one? No. Okay. Hmm. Is there anything in the other direction after I fell down? <coughs> Excuse me. No. Okay. I'll just have to... Head 
back this way. Head on up. And... I just heard my graphics card fan spin up. I appreciate this is a, a more modern <laughs> version of Quake. A more up-to-date thing, but I didn't think it was that demanding. Well, my, you know, my recording stats look okay. No dropped frames, no lagged frames, no nothing. Alright, let me try back down here, hitting this instead. Where does this... No, that just brings me back... Where did I... I found this. The first time I played it, I found a bunch of... stuff. Oh, maybe it's through this hole. This, like... It's, it's weird to tend to think of these things still as secrets, even though this is a redone version of the map that, like, repurposes those things for... Yeah. There we go. That's another secret. Okay. And that's the thing. Here we go. That brings us up to this. That's the one that handles that thing. And then... I think we go back outside, and then up toward the... beginning of the level. Nothing over in this thing. Okay. Let's take a quick look... at this. We can hop in here. What did that do? Oh, maybe that was necessary to open the front door. Wasn't even paying attention. God, this is so good. Now I wonder, for making a thing like this, for redoing a level, do you, like, first go through and throw dev textures on everything to start sort of from scratch? Or do you... here we go. Do you just leave that as the base and like... And just get to work. Zombie <laughs> killer. Okay. Collect my reward if I can find. Okay, so I unlocked something. Okay. I got gotcha. you. I have some kind of reward, but only if I can find it. So that'll be my fourth secret, I hope. Where would it be that I have not been? I wonder. I just always feel pressured because I'm recording this when I have the house to myself and I'm not surrounded by intrusive background noise. So I have to rush before anybody gets back. They, yes, they are, you know, essential, uh, not out willy-nilly, carelessly during this trying time. It is necessary, unfortunately, but... It benefits me as far as my videos are concerned, and that's really all that matters is, you know, me and my convenience, right? As we understand. Now, I'm gonna say, I would think, maybe I have to go back and take this up again, if I can. That a suitable place for this whole thing to end would be back up at the... Oh no, you do end up, you do start up there, don't you? You just can't get through that door. Okay, so the, the beginning of the level isn't some kind of like hidden area. It's just... Hmm. Been up there. Take this little guy up. Everybody who's played this already screaming at me for being 
missing something glaringly obvious. Where would the big finale cool secret be, I wonder? I mean, you wouldn't necessarily collect this as the last thing in the level, maybe. So maybe it wouldn't be a big to-do. Come on. <laughs> Would it be maybe somewhere? No, this just takes me around. Why am I? Why did I do that? All right, so the the zombie run ended like here. Maybe was that supposed to, was that, uh, if you can find it, supposed to be sarcastic and it was like right in front of me? And I was being mocked for not knowing where the secret was? There's a light back there, but I don't want to get too close to this and hit the trigger, you know? Hmm. All right, let's head back. I wonder if there's something under this lift, under the water. Yeah, okay, the top of that is just... just there. I don't know, I can't even imagine what the, what the reward would be. Let's try and get off this lift quick. planning on uh, finding secrets. I didn't realize I was so close. I thought I had two levels left. I, th I thought I had one or two regular levels and then, pardon me, regular levels and then the, uh, and then the end map, but I guess that end was just the, that was it. I misjudged with the secret level that I found earlier. Some zombie heads. Collect your reward if you can find it. There's no guarantee that I have a rocket launcher in this level, so it can't be... <laughs> oh, it's just a message. It's not because I shot it. <laughs> it's not going to be... Oh. <laughs> Happy speedrunning. Thank you. All right, there we go. I found everything. Um, I wonder how many people have speedrun this. I think I just saw a mention. Um, was it on Twitter? Yeah, on uh, Lunarin's Twitter, I mentioned... He mentioned something. I think I was mentioned in something, and I went checking out and saw somebody did this co-op. I haven't watched them yet, but damn, that sounds cool. I'm going to see what they do with that. But All right, so... That is Underdark Overbright and Copper, which honestly didn't stand out as uh, offensive changes. Nothing out of the ordinary, nothing nothing clunky and god-awful, um, which I, I can only thank you for. Subtle gameplay changes, no focus on garish, tacky, uh, artless, I guess you'd say. HD textures and, and, and shit like that, which is not to, I don't mean to sound like I'm subtweeting or criticizing any, any others. I know some people get a little worked up about those things. I don't mean to, I just, it, it always looks, I, I say, I keep saying this, every time I see HD texture mods, it just looks like such, like every surface exists in a different world, and this is a nicer way to do it. Focus on the gameplay and not the visuals, and just... 
class, sophistication, subtlety. Uh, good work, both of you, Lunar and Scampy. I don't know what to say. That was really, really well made, really polished, really slick, really fun. Cool mod, cool episode, and I look forward to playing more Copper Maps. I'm sure there's at least a couple out there. I don't know. I've been paying attention. I've been keeping up with, like, funk message board and stuff. I don't... I haven't logged in to actually comment, but I've been reading stuff and... and quadicted, so I think I remember seeing at least a handful of things for Copper, but I couldn't off the top of my head tell you what they were, so I'll look them up and see if there's more of that, and then I want to get back to some more Arcane Dimensions, and oh, there's so much stuff I've missed that I look forward to playing. All right. Enough talking, enough yammering on. It's time to call it a day. Thank you, and I will see everyone another time.